Hello guys! Uh, in this video I want to show you a few modifications I am suggesting to Double Commander. These modifications are regarding uh, when we are searching uh, for files. So basically the new internal command I'm proposing to add are uh, add new search, view searches, delete searches and config searches. Uh, we all get used to uh, the normal search. Uh, let's talk about the new one that I'm suggesting. Basically what it is, it is to allow to have more than one search uh, instance uh, at a time. Uh, let, me, uh, let me fill uh, some uh, search. Um, so it will help me to do uh, some example. Let's suppose uh, I have made uh, the search. Whoops, <laughs> made a mistake here. Okay, so basically the new, let, let's suppose I close that. So now I have closed with escape uh, all the uh, search uh, window, but these search window are still in memory. And by using the uh, view searches command, I can see that the window are still there and if I want to recu recuperate one of them I will simply select it and I will have it. Not only I will have the result but I am able to start it again. So if uh, if I went uh, to modify uh, my code uh, uh, somewhere and uh, then I'm saving and then uh, I want to uh, do again uh, a search I will uh, restart it and it will be immediately uh, uh, possible uh, to find it. Uh, also, uh, what this allowed to have it in memory is, uh, let, let's suppose um, I'm doing a search <laughs> on the root of a drive, and let's suppose uh, I'm searching in any file, something like that. So this will uh, take uh, a lot of time so if I click so because it's still searching I will be able to do uh, another search so this is another advantage um, also uh, oh and by the way if I click the button if I invoke the function to see my search window uh, I will see here scanning indicating that it's still uh, working but anyway, uh, the, the, what you see here are basically simply the, uh, the title you see on top uh, of the window uh, here, like uh, we can see. Uh, other thing I may mention, uh, let's suppose I would do uh, many add uh, like that. Okay, so many add uh, search, new search like that. If I go uh, to check here, uh, we will see that there is many fine files, but let's suppose uh, I am uh, clearing them uh, uh, like that. I will not clear that one. So if I click here, see, they are not there anymore. Because the one that will be remembered in that list are the um, only the one that we have searched at least once. Okay? So if you so if you invoke a new search, and you do uh, a search like that. Even if you click the X to close it, it will still be here because at least we did one search. If you want to uh, remove it, you will do uh, action, cancel search, close and free from memory. So now if I come here, it's not there anymore. And we can also do the opposite. We can do action for all others cancel close and free from memory so here our search is still in progress and if i go there there is only one that remains there um, so let's suppose i stop that search let's suppose for fun i add some other search i will go here we will find less thing <laughs> let's suppose uh, i have done a few search uh, here the other function for all search 
uh, it will uh, close them. So if I click there, now I click here, so there is no find files window anymore. So this is for the idea of uh, having many instances of search. The last one is uh, regarding to the configuration. Now we have before the uh, the few search option were in file operation. Now there is a category just for them. So uh, search for part of file name and text search and file default template. These options were there. Let's see the new one I add. This one when launching a file search clear a file mask filter. So when this option is checked uh, each time we will do alternate F7 uh, the file mask will be clear. Oh, by the way, there is something I didn't mention. Let's suppose uh, we have a few search uh, like that. Uh, so here I have like three windows. This one will add a new one, okay? But if we use the older command, so simply the cm search command, this one will bring us the last one in the list okay so someone would never use the new command and keep uh, doing that command for him it will make no difference than before because let's suppose I do it many times in memory oh <laughs> yeah I didn't search anything because in memory there is always only one uh, so let's suppose I continue with the option I didn't explain so uh, when launching file search clear file uh, mask filter so this was this is how it was working before so if you do a, a search cancel uh, exit press alternate F7 to start a new one it cleared the mask me personally I didn't like that so when we remove the option let's suppose i start a search restore my fre remain there okay so this is simple current filter new search button what it will do so let's suppose uh, i'm doing a search with uh, something uh, complex here with a few options if i click new search see all the filters are still checked it is like that because the option for the current filter with the new search button was to keep them if we put clear well each time we will do a new search it will really do like a new search which means it will uh, oops I forgot to put some filters to show that it won't clear it uh, that it will clear it so now if I click new search if I go in advance here, the options uh, have been cleared. Uh, by the way, uh, someone could configure that it will uh, keep. So when we click on the button uh, to do a search, a new search, it will keep the option. But the person can, after that could do new search or clear filters. New search with clear filters. So this is the best of both words if the person remember control N and shift control N to do a new search. Uh, other option, show menu bar and find files. I wanted to conclude with that. Don't know if you have noticed, but uh, in the find file there is a menu. Let me close that one. Uh, so in the find files window there is a menu bar. Basically the menu bar was not really there uh, Basically, the menu bar is there to help uh, people who use it for the first time to see the shortcuts. So this way, the person will learn it and uh, use it. Uh, by the way, uh, you know, for example, to go to the various tab, there were shortcut with alternate keys. So alternate one, two, three. This is not new. It was there since, I think, August uh, 2016. But uh, before looking at the code, I didn't even know that there were shortcuts uh, for that. So by having the menu bar, I think it will help people to remember it's there. And if someone 
uh, want to have a 16 pixel more vertically, uh, the person will remove the option. So the show menu bar will be unchecked. So uh, when the person will create uh, a new window for the search, the menu bar is not there anymore and it is uh, like it was before, but the shortcut uh, are still working. So that's about it. Uh, I hope this uh, will work good for everyone. Thank you very much for your time.